King News, my wonderful people, it is happening. You will be surprised at some of the things that are going on. Shatima, uh, Tinubu's running mate, has met with APC governors in Lagos State, begs them to support him. But see what some have told him that, you know, is causing a lot of, uh, you know, real matters. And lots of Nigerians are wondering, you know, <laughs> what's going on here? Seriously, what's going on here? Why are we quiet and why are we allowing this to happen? First of all, Nigerians made it clear that the Muslim Muslim ticket will not work yet. Some people will not even listen because um, they feel they are larger than life. And then after them, it's them again. Is it that you take it or you leave it yet? They want Nigerians to support them. Well, these are some of the things that are happening and why we all, we one accord, must rise up together. The one unit has one people and speak out against everything and anything, okay, that will bring about, you know, anything that will destroy the nation. We'll all, we all have to stand together as one and reject everything that is not right. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Shatima meets APC governors in Lagos, pleads with them to support his him and Tinubu's presidential bid. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, on Monday meets with some governors elected on the platform of the ruling party APC. Tinubu met with the governors at his residence in Lagos to strategize ahead of the general election and to please with some of the governors who are still not happy with the Muslim Muslim ticket and allegedly planning to leave APC, asking that this persons support him, give them a lot of reasons why they should support him. And the vice presidential candidate as well, Keshim Shatima was also in attendance during the meeting. The governor of Kebi State, Atiku Badigu, Zamfara State Governor, Belo Matarawa, Kaduna State Governor, Erufai, Jigawa State Governor, Mohamed Badere, Sa Sanwolu of Lagos State, Abdurrahim Ganduje, we are all the APC governors in attendance as others are still not in support of the Muslim Muslim ticket, even had not come out to speak, but allegedly looking for way out. At the time of the filing of the details of the meeting, we are still sketchy. APC presidential candidate has pleaded with all to have an understanding on this matter and to support them to get through the season and they will correct every abnormalities. Chinubu will be considered, will be contesting against the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Atiku Abubakar, the flag bearer of the Labour Party, as well as others, Konkoso and others. Part of the matter's discourse was that they need to work together in unity and ensure that they are able to savour and salvage the situation that is currently on ground. So this is part of what is happening, like you heard. Um, it is becoming a real point of call. A lot of persons are analyzing the situation, looking at it, and wondering what exactly, where, when are we going to come out of this? How, how far do we go and when do we come out of this? These are situations and matters, you know, that we all need to deal with and ensure that at the end of the day, you know, there are clear indications, okay? There are clear indications of matters arising and things You'll be shocked to, uh, to, to be surprised, you know, are really happening. And why every one of us with one accord must do all we can to possibly get this nation out of their hands and the claws of those who do not mean well for Nigeria as a nation. As a matter of fact, some things that have gone on and some things that are happening are all happening to us as a people, you know, and we, we can all see how terrible things have been for some time now. Listen, Nigerians, for all we can say, yeah, for all we can say, we need to, together with one, you know, we, we one accord, we need to work together. One of the, one of the very core points of call is that we must not sell our votes. 
you and I cannot sell our vote. We must vote in the right candidate. The right man, the right woman must be voted in. It's it's not um, an option. It's a necessity. It's a must. We must do all we can to ensure that the right man, the right woman is voted into office. If we neglect in that very core duty, we'll be shocked at some of the things that will follow. We'll be shocked. And so we cannot afford okay, to miss out in ensuring that we are delivering on our mandate. The best time to have you know, corrected some of those things was a long time ago, but the second best time is now. So let's do all we possibly can. Let's do it and let's do it well. Let's do it and let's do it well, okay? So that we can truly be be, chained, be 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 safe from this current devastation. And let's all ensure, okay, that we are standing up for what is right. We are doing that which is absolutely right and necessary, okay? We are doing that which is absolutely right and necessary. Well, we can ensure that um, Nigerians, we are safe when we do, when we all together vote in the right man, the right woman. For a long time now, you know, uh, we can see how, you know, people who we never thought, yeah, people who we never envisaged will, will, be, will, be, will, be, will be our leaders are the ones coming out. And most of them, they have a hand in the insecurity situation of the country. Most of them have a hand. Look at it. Our schools are being closed. Uh, correction centers, no safety at all. A lot of things are happening. Yet Nigerians, everybody is just quiet. Okay, everybody is just quiet, and we're just we're just wondering. Nigerian leaders are not ready to do anything to solve the situation, yet we keep harboring them there. How do we go from here? If we're going to be lying, eh? if we're going to be lying, how do we go from here? What do we need to do? How do we do it? These are things we must seriously consider. We must consider them and put them together so that we can truly be free. You know, for a long time now, we've always fallen into the trap and the hands of bad leadership. But what, what we can do is that we can make a difference. We can ensure that we make a difference going forward. We do not allow their wickedness and all that they are doing to become the order of the day. Okay, please, guys, let's, get, let's ensure that we are ready to vote when the time comes. Please, let's make sure that, let's ensure that, you know, by all means necessary, let's do that which is necessary. Let's do that which is compulsory for us to win. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.